So the question is, what's the best local database for React Native? And the answer, which is always the same, is it depends. But that's not good enough. It doesn't help. What we need to do is figure out what it depends on. So what it depends on is, is what our needs are. And I'm going to go through you know, a variety of local database options and, and tell you what works for what needs and what, what doesn't. So the first option I'm going to talk about is using Redux and Redux Persist. And this option, is, it's great because it works so well and it's so easy to integrate with React. Um, you know, as long as you don't have a whole lot of records, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome option to use. I, I would always go with that if I didn't plan on storing like, you know, thousands and thousands of records. If I just need a few hundred records, if I had an app that's like a shopping list and I'm only going to keep, you know, a list of 20 or 30 items or something like that, always going to use Redux Persist because it's, it's just so easy to use and it works so well with React Native. I have a couple apps in production using Redux Persist now, and it's awesome. So another database option is Realm. So Realm you can use as just a local storage, but also if you want the option, you can sync it um, using a server to sync you know, a variety of databases together. I have an app in production using Realm now, and after using it, I don't think I would recommend it for React Native apps. It may work better for just native apps, but it doesn't seem to work well with React Native. So one issue I ran into with Realm is if you're trying to use debugging, it becomes painfully slow. Another issue I had was bulk writing. So if I was, I was trying to write like, uh, like a thousand records at once, it was incredibly slow. But they actually just fixed that. So I, I do got to give Realm credit. They, they recently fixed that. Another thing that's not so nice is that Realm doesn't work with Hermes. The other thing is it, it's just difficult to build with a React Native app. You know, in the way that, that Redux is just so smooth, and every time you update the state, props automatically update, um, your views automatically re-render. It, it's a bit more work to get that to work with Realm. But Realm is really fast, you know, much faster than Redux Persist. Um, so, you know, it could be an option, just not my, my personal favorite option. So another option is Firebase. And I have one app in production that's using a Firebase a little bit. Um, Firebase is nice to use because it's so easy to get up and running and you can just have a full synced backend. I like Firebase a lot, and for certain projects, I will definitely use it. The, so one downside to Firebase is they have a free tier, but after that, you have to start paying. So if you only need a local storage, you're not syncing, or you don't need any real-time data, then it doesn't really make much sense to pay for Firebase. So I would just use something else. But if you do need to sync between you know, two different apps or the web and the, and the mobile app, um, it's a pretty, pretty good option. So I, I've just recently started using Watermelon DB in a new app. It's not in production yet, but it's in beta testing. And I got to say, I really like Watermelon DB. It uses SQLite. On top of that, you get the same reactiveness that you're used to. So you can um, you know, subscribe or observe states, and, and you know it just works really well with React Native. It, it seems to work well with React Native in a way that Realm didn't quite work well with it. So you can so with Watermelon DB, you can it's open source. You can just run it, you know, locally, but you can also sync it, and you can sync it to whatever backend you want. And that's kind of a nice option because you can start local and say you're building a new app. You don't, you don't want to pay for a database and sync on servers until you know that the app may be successful. So then you can sync with any type of database. You don't have to, you're not tied into Watermelon or, or anything else. So yeah, so far I really like that. You, you can't, uh, there's some things that you can't do as far as like querying and uh, updating, 
but you can drop down into raw SQL if you need to. Okay, there's a few other database options that I personally don't have any experience working with, but uh, I'll just let you guys know what they are, and maybe if you have any experiences with them, you know, just post about it in the comments so we can all learn. Um, there's PouchDB. Um, I, I think it's just good for being able to sync uh, with other databases. There's AWS. So AWS has their own database um, that has the same things like a free tier. I haven't tried that. I, I don't know how well it works or doesn't work. All I know is that uh, AWS documentation is hella confusing. So I, I just don't even, not even have much of an interest in trying to figure it out. I even have like free AWS credits that I haven't used yet and I still chose to go with Watermelon instead of AWS because it just I didn't want to deal with it. So there's also Apollo Cache Persist and this is not something that I've ever used before but I imagine it's probably pretty similar to Redux Persist. Um, it's persistence for the Apollo client. So I'd be curious, you know, if anybody out there has used um, the Apollo Cache Persist and Redux Persist, you know, what's the difference between the two? Is there anything, is there any one you prefer? So that's just a little recap of, uh, you know, my experiences with different local databases for React Native. And ultimately my recommendation is if you don't have a lot of data, definitely use Redux Persist. If you don't need servers and you only need a local database but you may need to sync in the future um, I would go with watermelon and if you need to sync between databases you don't have you know full-time people or you don't want to yourself run servers and all that and um, you're willing to spend a little money if your app becomes successful then I would go with Firebase so that's my opinion okay guys uh that's it you know that's just a little bit of what i know about uh, databases for react native you know subscribe to the channel there's gonna be more videos coming soon if you want to support the channel there's a buy me a coffee link down in the description and i'll see you later